you want the short answer? Mario is voiced by this guy, Kevin Afghani. You want the full story? Well then, let's talk all about Mario's voice, where it originally came from, how Charles Martinet became the most famous video game voice actor of all time, and how he came to step down and who has replaced him. This video is truly the culmination of the last three years of this channel. So, after taking one last deep breath, let's answer the question, why doesn't Mario sound like he used to? The arcade game Donkey Kong was released in the year 1981, and pretty immediately it became a huge hit in the United States. And while kids, teens and parents alike were addicted to this platform-jumping arcade sensation, in Japan Nintendo's engineers were working on something bigger, a brand new home console, which would come to be known as the NES. In America, Nintendo decided to use their successful Donkey Kong brand to try and lay the groundwork for them to eventually launch this console to the US market. So they began licensing the Donkey Kong brand out to a huge variety of American companies. Serial brands, TV, cartoon shows, music albums and more. And pretty much every one of these projects featured no oversight from Nintendo, which meant that each one cast somebody else to voice the game's protagonist, Mario. Probably the most beloved Mario of this era is the one featured on the Super Mario Bros. Super Show, portrayed by pro wrestler Lou Albano, aka Captain Lou. As an Italian-born immigrant to America, he seemed like the perfect fit to play this Italian platform jumper. Hey! It's Toad and the Mushroom People! Koopa let them go! Relax, Luigi! I got a brainstorm! But Captain Lou wasn't the only guy voicing Mario in a kid's cartoon of the era. You've got actors like Peter Cullen, Walker Boone, Larry Moran, and that's just a handful. In America, Nintendo really took an anyone and everyone approach to Mario's voice. They just didn't care about consistency. In Japan though, it was a slightly different story. Let me introduce you to Toru Furuya. If you've watched a lot of Japanese anime, chances are you've heard his voice somewhere or other. With roles like Tuxedo Mask, Sabo, Amaro, and Amaro, Toru Furuya has been one of Japan's most famous voice actors for decades and decades. And so in 1986, when Nintendo approved an official anime film adaptation of the game Super Mario Bros, known as Pichihime Kyushutsu Dai Sakusen, well, it only made sense to cast Toru Furuya, quite possibly Japan's most famous voice actor at the time, to play the movie's main character, Mario. And Toru Furuya ended up taking a somewhat comedic approach to voicing this character, with the final result sounding like this. So that was a clip from the film, but after the film, Nintendo of Japan decided they wanted some consistency when it came to Mario's Japanese voice. And so over the next five years, Toru Furuya was hired time and time again to play Mario in a variety of projects, like anime retellings of classic Japanese fairy tales, safety videos warning kids about the dangers of fire and roads, educational quiz games, and more. In fact, Toru Furuya continued voicing Mario in Japan until the year 1998. But at the same time, in America, a new voice for Mario was a Bruin. It's time to talk about the voice we all know and love. So if we're talking about Mario's voice, there is one very, very important man to bring up and that is Charles Martinet. The year was 1990 and Charles Martinet was a young aspiring actor eager to get his hands on any job he could find. And one afternoon he got wind of an audition taking place nearby. He rushed off to the studio where this audition was held 
and despite not having been invited, Martinet begged the staff to let him try his hand at it. The guy running the audition was just on his way out, but he sighed and said this. Fine, you're an Italian plumber, you're going to have to talk to all kinds of people, go do your best. Martinet entered the booth, ready to put on his best gruff Italian plumber stereotype. I'm walking here! I'm walking here! But before he spoke, he stopped. This gruff voice might be a bit scary for any younger kids, so Martinet decided to put on a much higher pitched and friendlier voice. It's me, Mario! You see, a few years back, Martinet had played a Shakespeare character called Gremio, and Gremio is this old, friendly Italian man. So, Charles Martinet turned him into a young, friendly Italian man instead. And so, Charles Martinet opened his mouth and started to speak. Okie dokie, let's make a pizza pie together. You go get some sausage. I'm gonna get some spaghetti. We're gonna put the spaghetti in a sausage. Even a sweet pizza. Hey, I'm gonna chase the pizza. Famously, Charles Martinet kept talking and talking for so long that the tape recorder ran out of tape. He was told, go home, please leave. Martinet thought this meant he didn't get the job. But before long, he heard back. And he'd been successful. He got the role. In fact, his was the only tape the interviewer sent to Nintendo. So, you might be wondering what this audition was for. Mario 64? Mario Kart? No, this wasn't for any of the games. It was for real life. Basically, at the time, Nintendo had this advanced real-time technology where Charles Martinet would be strapped up in a big metal helmet and any movements he made would be transferred to this 3D Mario head. Anyone walking past the booth at conventions would be picked up on a secret camera and Charles Martinet would start talking to them as Mario. Take a listen. I forgot to get you lunch. Now, Martinet performed this real-life Mario gig for a few years, and thanks to it, he even appeared in an old PC game called Mario Teaches Typing. Oh, hello! It's me, Mario! But then, in 1996, Charles Martinet's life would change forever, and it was all thanks to a game called Super Mario 64. So, in 1996, Nintendo released their first ever 3D Mario game, and for the first time, they wanted to have their characters speak out loud in English. And they decided that rather than embark on a lengthy search for somebody to voice Mario, they already had the perfect person for the job right under their nose. Charles Martinet, the man who'd been doing those 3D Mario demos at game conventions up and down the country for the past few years. And so, Martinet was brought into a recording studio, where he recorded a variety of short phrases, shouts and yelps to be included in Nintendo's newest Mario game. And when Super Mario 64 was released in 1996, the world was introduced to Mario like they'd never heard him before. Let's go! Mamma mia! Hello! Press start to play! Aha! Here we go! And in the two decades that followed, Martinet continued voicing Mario in every single Mario game that Nintendo released. But then the winds of change began blowing in the year 2021. So, by 2021, it was old news that Nintendo had partnered with movie studio Illumination to bring an animated Mario movie to life. By this point, the movie had been in the works for years, but we, the general public, knew almost nothing about what it was going to be like. However, during a Nintendo Direct in 2021, the hundreds of thousands of people viewing were given a bit of a surprise. Today, I also wanted to reveal our key cast members who will be voicing Mario and his friends in the movie. First, of course, is Mario, who will be played by Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt! Movie star Chris Pratt, who had about as much in common with Mario as he did with the Queen of England, would be playing the main character. What? Yes, it's safe to say that when this casting was announced, the internet was stunned, shocked, gooped, and gagged. 
So why did Illumination and Nintendo cast Chris Pratt as Mario? Well, there's a few reasons. The first is obvious. He's a big name. And for the last decade, Hollywood animated movies have switched from casting actual voice actors to casting big name film stars instead. And this movie is no different, with the cast list crammed full of every trending and beloved actor you could think of. But still, why Chris Pratt as Mario? Well, according to co-director Aaron Horvath, for us, it made total sense. He's really good at playing a blue-collar hero with a ton of heart. For the way that Mario is portrayed in our film, he's perfect for it. And so Chris Pratt was hired, and came to do some early voice tests for the film. But this voice took some figuring out. Pratt apparently made the mistake that Charles Martinet had avoided in his audition, explaining, I walked in and they were like, that's a little New Jersey. You're doing a Tony Soprano thing. Whatever happened to Gary Cooper? The strong, silent type. Eventually, Pratt settled on a friendlier voice for Mario that was pretty similar to his own normal, regular speaking voice. And when recording was mostly done, Illumination CEO Chris Melodundry said, Chris was cast because we felt he could give a great performance as Mario. And now that we've done about 15 recording sessions and the movie is three quarters done, I sit here and say that I love his performance as Mario. So what was this performance like? How did it sound? Well, take a listen. Wow, you were great. I am so glad we spent our life savings on this commercial. And uh, what about the accents? Is it, is it too much? Okay, I'm gonna trust you. Save Brooklyn? Luigi, this is our chance. Destiny is calling! Now, I think that most viewers' reactions to Chris Pratt's Mario voice were, uh, it was fine, it wasn't awful, but Charles Martinet likely would have done a better job. Still, people assumed that this movie featuring Chris Pratt was just a one-off change in cast. After all, Charles Martinet was in the film too, playing a couple of minor cameo roles. <laughs> including one as Mario's father. I think you're nuts. But when Charles Martinet spoke this line, These are my boys! Nobody except him and Nintendo knew that that would be the last line he would ever record for a Mario project. And all of that brings us to the present day, or at least to a few months ago, when Nintendo revealed their newest Mario game, Super Mario Bros. Wonder, and when internet investigators listened closely to Mario's voice from the trailer, they thought it sounded a little different. Was this someone other than Charles Martinet? Then, all of a sudden, in August, Nintendo released a statement on their Twitter account, saying, to cut a long story short, Charles Martinet would be stepping down from the role of Mario three decades after his original audition. The company stated that Martinet would be taking on a new role as Mario Ambassador, where he would travel the world and meet and greet thousands of Mario fans. He just wouldn't be recording new voices for the games. Now, all of this came as a massive shock. For millions of people, Charles Martinet's voice was Mario's voice. I mean, I was born more than a decade after Charles Martinet began voicing the iconic plumber. So for me personally, it's hard to imagine Mario sounding any different. Not only that, but two years ago in an interview, Charles Martinet stated, I want to voice Mario until I drop dead. So what changed? Well, we can only theorize. However, Martinet is 67 years old, and miraculously, his Mario voice sounds exactly the same as it did 30 years ago. That's very impressive, but every voice starts to change eventually. So perhaps Charles Martinet and Nintendo wanted to preempt that change and find a new young voice actor who could follow in Martinet's footsteps. Because there is a second part to that quote I read a minute ago. I want to voice Mario until I drop dead. If someday I think I am no longer capable of doing it, I will tell Nintendo to look into finding someone else. 
So who was this someone else? Well, leading up to the release of Super Mario Bros. Wonder, Nintendo remained tight-lipped, telling people to wait till the game comes out and read the name in the end credits. Mysterious. However, only a week before the game's release, some data from a demo of the game leaked online, including a list of the voice actors from the game's end credits. The only problem? The leaked information didn't include which roles each voice actor played. Some were easy to narrow down. Kenny James, for instance, is the voice of Bowser, so we know he's not Mario. But most of the other names are harder to work out. And so the internet began a kind of detective task trying to figure out which person here plays Mario. Eventually, the consensus formed was that Mick Wingert was the most likely candidate. Wingert is a prolific voice actor who's appeared in nearly 30 games in just the last 10 years. If Nintendo was going to recast Mario, surely they'd look for an experienced actor like Wingert to take on the role. Except only hours after the internet had decided that, yes, Mick Wingert had to be the new voice of Mario, Wingert's own agent stated he could confirm that he was not voicing Mario. Which meant that Mario's voice actor had to be someone else on the list. But who? Well, before the internet began round two of its Mario detective game, Nintendo decided to reveal the man behind Mario and Luigi's voice. And that man is Kevin Afghani. Now, Afghani is a relatively new voice actor. He's only 26 years old, and he just broke into the world of video game voice acting last year when he appeared as a minor event character in the game Genshin Impact. Do you have any other questions for me, Fair Maiden? Concerning, perhaps, my relationship status or monthly income? So why did Nintendo pick this guy? Well, they have actually worked with him before. Kevin Afghani provided the voiceover for this Nintendo Switch commercial. Nintendo Switch Online. Compete with the best players the world over. Nintendo Switch. More games, more features, more fun. But what Afghani really offered was enthusiasm and a blank canvas. His voice is one you almost certainly won't have heard before in other games or movies or TV shows, which makes him perfect to take over voicing this iconic character. Oh, and for enthusiasm, let me read you this. I decided to become a voice actor for a single reason. My absolute love for animation and video games. They are some of the most genuinely exciting forms of art that I've ever seen. I want to give a piece of myself to the things that I love. So how does Afghani's Mario voice sound? Well, let's take a listen. Here we go! Wee-hee! Oh, 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 ah. Wee-hee! Here we go! I think it's really great. For one, most people couldn't tell that Mario's voice actor had changed when they first heard this new Mario voice, which is a great sign that Mario is still Mario. But as Afghani continues voicing video games' most iconic protagonist, I'm looking forward to seeing him bring in some of his own sensibilities, his unique flavor, as it were, to Mario. Because after all, while Shigeru Miyamoto created Mario, Nowadays, each Mario game is developed by a huge team of people, many of whom grew up playing Mario games. And now, with Mario's voice, the torch has been passed on to the new generation. Charles Martinet created an iconic voice for Mario, but now it's Kevin Afghani's turn to take it somewhere new. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Um, you might have heard some of the stuff from this video already, but as the Nintendo voice acting guy on YouTube, I couldn't not make an episode about Mario himself. So I really hope you enjoyed this special episode of